Hey, what's up guys? How's everybody doing today? Um, before we get into the video, if I can ask, if you drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already, I really appreciate it. And um, it lets me know that you're getting something from the videos and uh, you'd like to see more. So um, thanks, I really appreciate it. Anyway, on to the video, um, let's get started here. So you can see that poor Millie is really getting punished by this bullet. And what we did was... Um, Basically, we ran into a, a issue here too. We got a floating head. So we said that when he gets hit by the bullet, um, he's just going to fall apart and he's going to be separated from the parent. As you can see here, um, all the body parts will be separated. You'll notice that I found a couple issues here. The foot seems to be doing fine with the animation, animator component enabled, and the gravity is still... Um, working on them but as you saw on the head the head remains floating so that's due to the animator overriding the uh 2d gravity so here's a quick look at the code we only added a couple lines of code in the color lerp out uh function and uh here we're just gonna go and add the animator and we're not gonna um have it running when he gets hit so that the gravity will uh, affect the head and um, so it's not just sitting there floating like you saw a moment ago. So you can see once the color fades back everything just kind of falls apart and he had a rough day at the office. Poor Millie. So if you look, you click on the animator enable it again you can see it pops right back up and we have floating head which is odd and it's also odd that the foot still has gravity affecting it um, as mentioned though that's because the animator overrides the the gravity 2d component so hmm but the floating head is a bit strange so if you run that problem now you know how to fix it um, we also added a uh, if hit bool we set to false and that was due to um, you only want to call the the lerp in once when when it, uh, the collision occurs and here we just create another animator cash money that always good practice so animator get component animator such an odd word um, so instead of getting components in the function, we uh, just paste uh, the reference to it. And <coughs> so we're going to go check out again and see what happens. Get the bullet. And yes, I did add an owl sound effect. So um, don't forget to add that to your audio clip on your script if you do do that. Now we got an error, and this is because it's saying, hey, there is no animator. What are you talking about? So we just do another quick little if statement, and you're saying if animator underscore animator is true, so if there is an animator attached to the game object, we're just going to make it false. And the errors will go away. Clear. Thank you. I appreciate that. <coughs> so we'll see if we get the errors again. He got nailed. Boom, 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 boom. And that's it. Game over. So that solved our animator problem. And um, if you want to destroy the game object after everything is all said and done destroy a game object and enter a value that you want to to wait for three seconds five seconds one, <clears> and then destroy it and then of course you can add like particle particle effects or whatever called game over depending on what you want to do for your particular project and we'll look and boom 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 maybe another sound like a popping sound or something and then um maybe a little explosion particle explosion whatever and just checking it out real quick. Yep, all good. And he's gone. Done. Game over. 
So that's that. And we'll take a moment here and we'll just go over the code that, that was added so you kind of um, caught, caught up to speed if you're following along the series. And uh, so you can see pretty much everything the same. We just added the underscore animator, um, audio source, audio clip, call it whatever you like. And then we added the if hit bool, called it false, set to false. And um, we just add if hit is false, we're gonna run this code and play clip at point, start coroutine. Um, so do a quick search at play clip at point. It basically, well, hold on, it's going too fast there. Um, it, I find it's better to do that, otherwise you have audio sources on each game logic and it gets um, a bit messy. So let's clean this part up real quick. Let's just, um, instead of, you know, I think it's so minute at this stage. You, as long as it's not an update function, I don't think it's going to matter. But it's it's good practice and it's consistent. And you should try to be consistent in all your code. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and make it public um, up there. Rich body 2D, and um, it's up to you. But don't do an update function. At least don't do that. And then go ahead and say underscore rich body 2D. Is equal to a game our game object add component rich body 2D and then anima animate tour enable to false so we get the gravity and game object um, will be destroyed after five seconds and yeah that works out pretty good so far slowly but surely slow is fast somebody once said so yeah. Hopefully you got something from that, guys. Um, any questions um, down below in the comments? I'm happy to help when I can. I try to answer everybody's question. And um, yeah, we're on the road to 3K one day. So like, subscribe, and um, ring the ding. And that's it, guys. I'll catch you next time. Happy coding.